finna win every drill that we do. We are at Oakland Technical High School where the FAM First Foundation is holding a football clinic sponsored by the new movie, Eddie the Eagle, starring Hugh Jackman. Oakland native Seattle Seahawks running back Marshawn Lynch, who may or may not have retired during Super Bowl week, was on hand to help the Oakland Tech players hone their football skills. With some help from Buffalo Bills quarterback and Oakland Tech alum, Josh Johnson. Hugh Jackman also got in on the act, running some drills with the team. Hold the ball, hold the ball. Lynch's competitive juices came out during the course of the day as the high school athletes turned the drills into a competition. Uh, you know, I'm a massive Marshawn Lynch fan and I even more of one today and I see what he's doing with these kids and supporting them and his foundation supporting them because these guys are taking it so seriously and to have someone of his stature as their mentor, I mean that is it's just priceless. So it's really great and we're having a bit of fun, they're uh, you know, making fun of me, making me feel like an old man from Australia. The movie Eddie the Eagle is the inspirational true story of Eddie Edwards, who competed in the 1988 Winter Olympics as a ski jumper for Great Britain. An unlikely athlete who beat the odds to live out his childhood dream. We're here with Taryn Edgerton, Hugh Jackman, and Dexter Fletcher, the director of Eddie the Eagle. Hi, how you doing? Great. How was uh, doing this movie about a, a living legend, obviously? Uh, it was a bit of a responsibility, <laughs> to be honest. He is a living legend, as you say. It's not like making a movie about someone who's who's long gone. You have to you have to answer to them at some point. Uh, but we were very lucky that it's such an inspiring story about a great a great athlete and a, and sportsman and an incredible character. So um, we were very lucky. He he saw the movie with Taron. Uh, they sat together and watched it. You can ask him about that. Top, oh. top five most nerve-wracking experiences of my life, I think. <laughs> Sitting down and watching a movie where you're playing the guy the movie is about and he's sat next to you. And his family and his friends. And all of his family and friends. Yeah. And seven security guards and six lawyers. Yeah, I'm exactly. <laughs> yeah. A whole army of attorneys. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I'm happy to report that he... Uh, he was a he was a big fan. He got quite he got quite emotional at the end of the film, which is great because, you know, the the film is very much in you know I, th I think I think we do great justice to the spirit of Eddie's life, but it is a version of his life, and you can never tell how someone's going to react. But thankfully, he loves it, and it's I'm so pleased. How how were you athletically uh, playing in, uh, an Olympic athlete? Well, I mean, you know, we're using the term very loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Did you train much? Uh, I learned to ski for the film, yeah, which was great because I'd never done it before. Yeah, but um, I'm not, not not sure that I'm a fantastically gifted skier. No. How about you? you did you have to train at all for, for this? No, not really. I was playing the coach. This is one of those movies where I didn't have to wake up at six and get into the gym. I played a washed up sort of has been who liked to drink a little bit. So I got very very into that sort of research. <laughs> yeah, but it was nice not to have to uh, take my shirt off in any scene. It was great. Didn't want that. No. Didn't want it. no. <laughs> How much I kept trying to. I know. Put yeah. it on. Shirt, Put it on. Shirt back on, please. <laughs> <laughs> How about research wise? How much research did you have to do? And do you, do you remember the actual? Uh, oh yeah, movie? I remembered it. I mean, it, it, Eddie in Australia is like a folk hero. We love him. You know, he was he's the poster child of just having a go. Um, and I think it's an inspiring story. And you know, I I loved it. I was playing a, a character who was a coach, and I you know read up a little bit, and I based my character on a guy called Ginger Baker, who's actually a drummer. Uh, but I the whole the whole thing was rock and roll to me, so it was it was awesome. Cream uh, ginger bacon. You got it, man. Uh, the the motto here is two underdogs, one dream. And, yeah. And how inspiring is this to people? You know, I haven't seen the movie. Everyone who's seen the movie Rudy says if you like Rudy, you you're gonna love this. Movie. I was like, I haven't seen it actually. <laughs> I've heard it's good, but I don't watch. Yeah, things. whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, it is. Uh, it's one of those stories that kind of with the message you don't have to win to be a winner this will leave you uplifted and smiling and cheering and you'll realize this guy has climbed a massive mountain to get there without walking home with a medal sorry spoiler alert mm -hmm. but it's it's great and I think that's why it relates to everybody thank you very much thank gentlemen. you thank you man there you have it folks Eddie the Eagle in theaters this week go see Thanks, it man. go see it in Oakland this is Dave Gingona for fan TV sports